Block A weighing 1000 Newton is raised by means of a 15 degree wedge B weighing 500 Newton. Assume coefficient of friction between all contact surfaces B.2. Determine what is the minimum horizontal force B should be applied to raise the block. Now, we can configure block A the weight in 1000 Newton and block B in the this is the wedge B. Clear. But wedge B is P in the force, horizontal force applied to the block A and the raise and the chicken. Block A the weight in the 1000 newton let it be wa and wedge in the weight and wbc 500 newton the question the point two that is e vertical volume block a e surface that is block wedge b is e horizontal surface that is block a wedge b is e contact surface the question of friction point two clear two we have to find out minimum force p to rise in the block a in the upward direction we will be drawing the free body diagram of both block A and block B separately and do the and apply the equilibrium equation and find the solution. First, we will be drawing the free body diagram of block A. Block A and the weight will be acting vertically downwards. Let it be W. We will be W to its center of gravity. Next, the vertical wall block a normal reaction exciting that, that its direction will be perpendicular to the contact surface let it be n1 now as we apply this force p if p apply him the same way block and the towards left to move towards left to move in the block and the will move in the upward direction block a upward direction will move in now upon the same way block a e surface uh, e surface in the same way it will be moving in the upward direction Upon the, the friction force and the will be acting in the downward direction. Let it be F1 given by mu into N1. Clear. So next in the e wedge B and the block A like a normal reaction exactly now. Clear. Its direction will be perpendicular to the contact surface. This is the contact surface. E contact surface na perpendicular direction towards block A in the direction. Let it be N2. Clear. And the near friction force and clear. As this block moves, the in the e, in the number e block and the wedge number left hand side move over block and the monolithic rise. Monolithic rise means e surface in the same area. E surface in the number movement no can with respect to B no can in the e surface in the will be moving in the upward direction. Clear that is. Then what I move in the e surface in the number motion number no can in the third rotate move here. The third rotate move here means the e surface in the monolithic. But e surface in the case like that, its motion is in the upward direction. So, the friction force will be moving in the downward direction. Clear. Let be F2, which is equal to mu into N2. Clear. So, next, the N2 and the vertical light make an angle 15 degree. From geometry, we can find out. Similarly, F2 and the horizontal light make an angle 15 degree. We can find out using geometry. Next, we will be drawing the free body diagram of block B. Block B is present. First time, the weight and the way acting vertically downwards to the center of gravity. Let be WB. Next, the e external force P, e will surface like end up. Clear. Let it be P. Now, e ground and the ground and the wedge leg with normal reaction apply exit end up. That reaction will be perpendicular to the contact surface. E and the contact surface in the perpendicular direction. Let it be N3. It will be acting in the upward direction. Now, as this block move, wedge moves towards left, e point of friction force in the again will be acting in the opposite direction. Let it be F3, which is going to be N3. Clear. Now, block and the e wedge in the E surface like a normal reaction exactly. That normal reaction is magnitude E same than of N2 the same magnitude energy. First, just in the opposite direction. Clear. Just opposite direction and the vertical I make an angle of 15 degree. Clear. So that we E random equilibrium equilibrium condition at the E forces and the uh, vanish either. that is e n1 e n2 n2 the equal and opposite so it will be zero similarly in the e surface in the block b the e surface level friction force and clear that is e surface in the is moving in the downward direction so but the surface friction force in the again will be moving in the upward direction this let it be f2 then the then the then the e surface will be friction force in the magnitude in the again present the opposite direction like it's also making an angle 15 degree with the horizontal Clear. Now the free body diagram is completed. We will apply the equilibrium condition, apply equilibrium of two blocks separately and find out 
uh, unknown force P. Clear? First, we will be considering the equilibrium of block A. Block A equilibrium considering that is the same as N2 and the F2 and the inline forces. And the components are resolved. N2 is the vertical component of N2 cos 15. Horizontal component is N2 sin 15. Similarly, F2 the, uh, F2 the vertical component is F2 sin 15. Horizontal component is F2 cos 15. First equilibrium consider one the sigma fx is equal to 0. X directional forces are the on the N1. N2 sin 15 and F2 cos 15. F2 cos sin 15 cos 15 N2 sin 15 towards left eye that will be negative and N1 will be positive. So N1 minus F2 cos 15 minus N2 sin 15 will be equal to 0. From that N1 F2 in the point to N2 substituted. Yes, coefficient of friction point to 1. And point to N2 substituted. So N1 minus point to N2 cos 15 minus N2 sin 15 will be equal to 0. From that we can find out N1 is equal to 0 0.452 N2. Let it be our equation number 1. Now, we will consider the second equilibrium equation. Sigma F5 equal to 0. Y directional forces are like EF1, WA, pinna F2 sin 15, pinna N2 the vertical component, N2 cos 15. Clear. So, N2 cos 15 minus F1 minus WA minus F2 sin 15 is equal to 0. F1 is the mu N1, F2 is the mu N2 number substituted. Clear. Mu and the point two and the values could do. Clear. Upon the key, the legacy. No, N1 and the point four five two N2 and the substitution number the legacy could go. Clear. N1 and the point four five two N2. So, E N1 and the point four five two N2 replace here. Clear. So, this equation is only in unknown value N2A. Upon the solve is we can find out N2. Upon simplify him, finally we get N2 is equal to one two three one point five nine note entity. So, N2 it again, what is F2? N F2 L N1 and the region equal substitute we can find out 548.54 newton negative. Clear. Now we will consider the equilibrium of wedge. Clear. Consider the equilibrium of wedge ones here. But in the again N2 nm, F2 nm and the compounds in compounds are resolved in parallel to and perpendicular to the x and y axis. It will be solved either to clear. Now first in the sigma fx is equal to solved to fx is equal to solved to compare the F2 sin 15, F2 cos 15, pin in the P, pin F3. Three are not clear. So, if there is a right hand side positive, then positive, this will be negative. So, F3 minus P plus F2 cos 15 plus N2 sin 15 is equal to 0. N2 is the value of the area. Clear. And F2 is the mu N2. That substitution is equal to. And F3 is the mu N3. Mu N2 is equal to 0.2. So, we will get the equation. Clear. Now, to simplify M1, we can get a relation 0.2 N3 minus P plus 548.44 equal to 0. Let it be our equation number 2. Now, next in the sigma F5 is equal to 0 constraint. F5 is equal to 0 constraint. We can get a y directional force like N3, WB, pin N2 the vertical component, N2 cos 15, F2 the vertical component, F2 sin 15. Sin 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 is positive and negative constraint. Direction which is positive and negative. N3 minus WB minus N2 cos 15 plus F2 sin 15 is equal to 0. F2 and the N2 mu N2 substitute here. Clear. Mu and the 0.3 M and the 0.2 substitute here. So we will be getting equation like this. Only unknown values N3. For this whole we can find out N3 to be 1609.42 Newton. E value number the equation number 2 like substitute here. Upon the P is equal to 0.2 N3 plus 548.44. Clear. From that we can find out P to be 870.32 Newton. So minimum force force P applied to rise step block is 870.32 Newton. So we have to apply a force of 870.32 Newton towards left into the wedge B so that the block can be rise in the upward.